The mayor of Fort Lauderdale says his city is ready for Hurricane Irma. Parts of that Broward County city under mandatory evacuation orders. And the mayor, Jack Seiler, is on the phone with us now. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Thank you, Shep. How are things in and around Fort Lauderdale? Well, I tell you what, we're uh, we're ready. We've uh, been gearing up for three, four days. This is obviously, as we've all heard, one of the biggest, uh, baddest looking storms that's crossed the Atlantic in a long time. And so we've uh, we've been ready and uh, started evacuations on a barrier island. And most people are complying with it. And these issues that you're talking about uh, with Miami Shores, same issues up here in, in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we just had to open up a second shelter for. Uh, pet owners, because the one shelter that was for owners, you know, with pets and, and their pets, uh, filled up already. So they just opened up a second one up here, just uh, west of Fort Lauderdale. I, I know a lot of uh, people who, who aren't very young people who live right there in Fort Lauderdale. Some of whom are like, I don't want to go. I'm on the 20th floor of my building. It's going to be fine. H have you guys been able to make an impression on these uh, seniors in your in your region? Well, I think, I think we've been able to make an impression through a very uh, active uh, campaign. I mean, our, our public affairs staff has done remarkable work, but I think what's made a bigger impression is people watching your TV show and realizing when they see a picture of that storm, that makes a heck of an impression. That is, as, as, like I said, as, as big and as broad of a storm as we've seen in some time. We're very concerned about the storm surge. That's really the major factor here in Fort Lauderdale. You know, we feel we can handle... Um, the rain, we can handle some of the winds. That storm surge could create a real problem for people on a barrier island. And you might be on the 20th floor, but if your first floor elevator stops working, if your first floor fills up with water and all of a sudden, uh, you know, the electrical and the utilities and those things go out, I'm not sure what good it is to be on the 20th floor if you can't get in and out of that building. So we're, we're making sure they're educated that uh, it's not just about where you are. It's about uh, first responders getting in and out. And it's about the residents getting in and out. I, I was wondering about your, your, your flood areas. I realize over on the beach, uh, along Los, Los Olas Beach, and then over to US 1. Uh, is that all a major flood area from US 1 east? Well, not all of US 1 east. We have low lying areas, US 1. Chef, you obviously know Fort Lauderdale well. Los Olas does have uh, some low lying areas. You know, we have close to 200 miles of navigable waterways, wow. and our nickname is, you know, the Venice of America. So, we have a lot of low-lying areas east of Federal Highway, predominantly the Barrier Island and some of Los Olas, as you just mentioned. Other areas east of Federal Highway are high ground, and we're not uh, watching those as closely as we are the low-lying areas, the ones that we've been dealing with, uh, just for our seasonal high tides. Remember, this time of year, our seasonal high tides start. They're known as king tides. You tie that in with a, a full moon, you tie that in with an east wind, and you tie that in with a storm surge. And the recipe is there to have some flooding in these low-lying areas. Yeah. I, I, the, had it skirted the way they were talking about a couple of days ago, you'd have had a real, real wind problem. I, I wonder now if, if the vast majority of this isn't going to be surge and flooding, at least as, as far north as you are. I, I agree with you, Shep. I think you're right. I think a couple of days ago we were tremendously focused on the wind factor. And uh, that has slowly shifted. And now we're looking at a potential storm surge of 5 to 10 feet. And that can change depending on how much you know precipitation comes in with the storm. But our real fear right now is a storm surge. And every time that thing takes a, a jog one way or the other, that storm surge alters itself by a foot or two, like I said. And then also the timing of this storm. If it continues to slow down and comes in with a high tide, that's a bigger problem than if it comes in under a low tide. And so these are all things that, you know, Mother Nature just – playing games with uh, the, our preparations, but, but look, we're ready. We've, we've been doing this 100-plus years in Fort Lauderdale, and we feel like we've done everything we can to be ready for this storm. Man, I believe you. Mayor Jack Seiler of the great city of Fort Lauderdale. Hope to see you down there soon, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Hope so, Chef. Take care.